copyright is changing, you know, the, or, or the complexity of technologies are impacting on the law uh, as to, to how people deal with copyright. And you gave the instance of, uh, you know, the iPods coming to, to do some sort of How do you see it? Is it going to get more complex in the future, or is it going to simplify the law as to how we, we live with copyright? Um, I think both the law and the licences are going to be simpler in the future. So, for instance, the recent changes to the law where you can do things like time and format shifting, it's recognising what people do already and making it easier. So I think hopefully things like that will continue to improve in the law. Um, in terms of licensing bodies like APRA and AMCOS, we are trying to simplify our licences and make them applicable to the users. So there's no point saying you need 20 different licenses and 50 different permissions. We're trying to put together licenses that cover all the practical needs. So. In answering that question, you're almost saying you, you work within the industry, do you? That's right, I work for APRA right. um, and with the AMCOS board representing the music publishers. So where um, I work basically as the go-between the public and the publishers. So we have committee meetings and board meetings where we present to the publishers what everybody wants and we try and put together with their permission licenses that suit the needs. And that's what I've done in schools and universities and other areas. Yeah. Uh, just one final quick question uh, that occurs to me as you've been speaking there. Uh, some of the speakers here today are really talking about church music, you know, yes. and, and sacred music, uh, contemporary Christian music, yes. whereas the, the interests that you represent have really got a broader brief than that, haven't they? they they're going out into to pop music. And, and sure, but we represent literally millions of copyright owners around the world, yeah. and there's an overlap between, you know, we represent a lot of the major... Um, music publishers that are in Christ involved in Christian music, um, <laughs> as well as contemporary secular music. So, so the the average person in a parish, you know, a parish priest yes. or somebody who has responsibility for music ministry or the use of copyright materials, needs to have a broad awareness of the the law. Yes. Uh, both as it applies to the particular music, right. but also if they they bring in you know the, the latest CD or right. song they hear it on the, the radio and want to use it in in their their context, yes, uh, which the composers probably didn't even know it was going to be used to praise yeah. Jesus or something. That's right. Okay, thank you very much You're for welcome. those.